Hello and welcome to our first Dreamweaver website design project. In this series you'll learn how to build a complete website from start to finish using Dreamweaver CS6. You can use your own images and resources for this project or if you prefer you can download all of the project files shown in these tutorials. You can also get the complete series manual in printed or ebook format along with the high definition video tutorials from wizzybooks.com. In this lesson we'll be working on the footer so we're going to insert a paragraph of text to contain the copyright information at the bottom of the page here. We've also got this copyright symbol and that's a special character that we can insert in Dreamweaver. So I'm going to switch to the Dreamweaver window and I've already got my main HTML document open. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom of my code window and here you can see we've got our footer section. So we've got the opening and closing footer divs at around about line 68. I'm going to click in between these and press a tab. That indents the text slightly and keeps our code nice and neat. And the first thing we'll do is open up a P tag. And again, whenever I open a tag, I close it. And then we'll just cursor back in between the two tabs. So we'll enter the text copyright followed by a space and then we want to insert that copyright symbol and to do that if we come up to the insert menu and come down to HTML we've got a menu option for special characters and in there you'll find the copyright symbol and if I click on that one Dreamweaver will give me a message saying that special characters may not appear in all browsers every browser is slightly different and we should test the most common ones to make sure that our pages are displaying correctly. I'm going to say OK to this and you'll see the code for the copyright symbol has been entered. You'll get used to using these codes as you create more and more websites and you can simply type the code in if you can remember it. For now we're going to type a space and then we'll type the name John O'Dowell photography and we'll have a space a dash and we'll also put all rights reserved we'll save that and now if we switch to design view we can see our completed page so at the top here we've got our logo and our photo followed by the social media icons and the navigation and you'll notice that each of these areas are surrounded with a dotted line and as you hover your mouse over them that line turns to red. These signify the divs that we created for each of these sections. We've then got our banner and our text and right down at the bottom here this is the footer and that contains the copyright text that we just placed in there. I'm going to press F12 to preview this page in the browser and you can see that all of the content we require has now been inserted. The actual content area is going to differ from page to page so this area is something that we'll be working on when we create the individual pages for our website but most of the other areas will remain constant on all of the pages. So now that we've finished our basic layout and added some sample content we're pretty much ready now to move on to CSS and start to format our page and content the way that we want it. And we'll start that in the next lesson. If you found this series of videos helpful and you want to receive updates on video tutorials as they're released, why not subscribe to my channel? And don't forget to like and share it with your friends.